Anyone who knows me in real life knows that I am an absolutely huge math nerd. I legitimately find math homework fun, I always go ahead in my classes, and it's really just one of my favorite things, but I've started to branch out of just the conventional math that I've been learning in school. But since I've been doing geometry, that's kind of what my brain has been focusing on, so that just made me think back to all of Viheart's videos, and if you have never seen any of them, I'm just gonna link her channel, you should go watch all of them. All of her videos are of doodles that are completely math oriented, and they've really inspired me just in my personal doodling and what you're watching right now. parabolic line designs, which create the illusion of there being a circle within a square, but it's actually not a circle. The way I learned how to do that was actually from one of Byheart's videos, so I will link that one specifically in the down bar. And I had been doing this so often that it kind of just got boring, so I wanted to try to do something else. What I ended up trying to do was create equilateral triangles branching from the midpoint of each side. It took me quite a few hours and a heck of a lot of calculations, but I finally got what I think is pretty correct. The numbers involve like 2 and 7.3 tenths of centimeters, and it's kind of confusing. this really really beautiful star and this is one of the coolest things about math and geometry to me the fact that it, it can really that's what creates art lines and shapes are the basis of everything that we create and it's kind of weird to think of that holistically and besides just that revelation what makes me love this so much is that when I'm doodling this the only thing that exists are what I'm doing and music, which I'm typically listening to. When I'm focused on creating equilateral triangles, my outside problems don't seem to exist. And oblivion to the outside world is honestly one of my favorite things, and I think that it is necessary for people to have that some of the time.
winding down to the end, so I really hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it a lot and would maybe like me to do something else like this, you should let me know because I have a lot of ideas of what I could do. And I hope you all have wonderful weeks, wonderful Christmases if you're celebrating them. I'm actually celebrating my birthday this week on Christmas. And you will see my actual face next time. Bye.